good day and welcome to this lecture in this tutorial i will show you how to simulate vowels in aspenasis how to simulate them and then how to size them right so that is what we'll be learning in this particular video you are welcome to this tutorial right so first we'll choose our component in this case i will just use water I'll be using water for this illustration. Enter and I'll be using pen scene as the fluid package. Right? So, this simulation is a very quick one. So, we have specified our components and fluid package. So, we can move over to the simulation environment. Right? So, I'll be creating two water streams one for water in liquid and another for water in gas form right so here we'll have liquid water and steam so this is water water now properties temperature will be 25 degrees then pressure can be 1 atm 1 atm then molar flow of 10 then composition of 1 okay so this is fully specified right so this is water in liquid form right so you have vapor phase fraction as 0 so this is water in liquid form then this will be steam then vapor phase fraction will be 1 Pressure still 1 atm. Then mass flow is still 10. 10 kilogram per hour. Composition of water is 1 as well. So we have specified this. So this is water in gas form, which is steam. Vapor phase fraction is 1. Temperature is 99.96 which is the boiling point of water that is approximately 100 degrees celsius so you see the temperature so this is this is literally steam right water and gas form right? so we'll be adding two um control valves to this particular um to this particular streams so two control valves for both of them so just for illustration so we have to specify their inlets and outlets so we have this is water for inlets then the outlet is this right then we'll also do the same for the second valve as well so we have steam and then we have this right so next thing is to specify the pressure drop right once you specify pressure drop at least the valve should solve the valve should solve once you specify your pressure drop so for the specification of pressure drop you can either enter it manually or you use sizing methods to calculate right but for you to use these sizing methods to calculate you have to enter manually first then size the valve before you come to use this option right so you have to enter the pressure drop first so i'm making use of a pressure drop of 10 kpa for both of them right so specify pressure drop of 10 kpa so both of them have now solved as you can see they are both solved we can open them side by side let me see we can have two of them together let's see we can have two of them together at the same time so that we can compare yes so you see that both of them have solved now at the point where the valve has solved is where you can start your sizing 
right so your sizing of a valve can only start immediately after that valve has solved right so it is after it has solved you can size it right so now if you want to size a valve you go to rating right this is rating the rating tab this is where you size a valve in this rating tab just close to design the second tab after design rating right this is where you size your valve right so in this um environment for the valve sizing you have you have sizing methods right you have the ANSI ISA method you have the manufacturer specific methods you have the simple resistance equation right so if you want to use any of the popular manufacturer methods you can click on the radio button let me maximize this so if you want to use any of the manufacturer methods you can click on the radio button and then scroll and choose whichever um manufacturer method you want to make use of right so any of the methods can be used for the sizing of the valve right depending on your preference right so but most of the time the ANSI ISA method is used for the sizing of valves right so before you size your valve you are expected to make whatever changes you want to make in this environment right so from here now you see that from this um, sizing methods we have cv and we have cg right so cv is called the valve flow coefficient while cg is cg is the gas sizing coefficient right so depending on the fluid that is flowing through that valve right hysis will automatically activate one of them either cv or cg right so cv is associated with liquid uh liquid phase while cg is associated with gaseous phase right so this um valve is associated with the water stream right the water stream we created is connected to this valve right and that is why uh, cv is activated right cv the flow coefficient right? this flow coefficient is associated with liquid phase right but in this other case you see automatically cg is activated in this other valve because the um, fluid passing through this valve is in vapor phase right is in vapor phase that is why cg which is the gas sizing coefficient is activated right so um here you have your current values you have your current values you have the inlet pressure kpa that's the um, inlet pressure right the pressure of the feed then you have the molecular weight of the feed then you have the valve opening you have the uh, pressure drop you have the pressure drop which was specified as 10 kpa the valve opening can be edited right then you have the flow rate in uh kilogram mole per hour that's the mass mass flow rate kilogram per hour mass flow rate right then you have user inputs right you can also make some changes here right so when you are done making your changes from here from this section the next thing to do is to click on size valve right size valve so you click on size valve for both of them in this case right so you click on size valve after the valve has solved and you have made the necessary changes to the sizing methods right so you just click on it right and then you click on it for the second one as well right so whatever values you are having in your sizing methods now is based on the um the initial conditions specified for both the valve and the stream that are associated with that particular valve right so once you click on size valve the necessary calculations will be done by the software and for example for cv you have the cv value highlighted right the cv value for this particular valve is highlighted and it is highlighted because 
this valve has liquid phase passing through it right for this other valve our steam valve you see that cg is highlighted because it is a vapor phase that is passing through this other valve right so now the two valves have been sized right so now that you have sized your valve you can go back to your design and change your option for pressure drop right you go back to design and you go to parameter right you go to parameter in parameter you can remove this guy you can remove it and remove this as well and then click on use sizing methods to calculate delta p right use sizing methods to calculate delta p now it's better to use the sizing methods right so that because sometimes you may be you may not um have an idea about the value to use as your pressure drop for your valve right so it's quite good when you use this um, sizing methods to determine the pressure drop of your valve right so once you have solved the valve and then you have sized the valve it's appropriate for you to just use the sizing methods to determine the pressure drop required for that particular valve right so once you are done sizing you remove the pressure drop you initially specified and then you click on use sizing methods to calculate delta p right so once you click on it it automatically solves right it solves back now you will notice that the pressure drop that is now specified in the delta p section is the same as the one that was initially specified by me right so it means that whatever sizing values we got those values are compatible with this particular pressure drop right that is what it means it means the conditions of this valve are are compatible with this particular pressure drop now there are cases where when you click on the use sizing methods to calculate delta p there are cases where the value you will be having in the delta p calculated by high sys will be different from the value you initially specified right so in that case you actually needed the sizing methods right so but in this case where it is the same right the same with the initial value that was specified what it means is that that pressure drop is actually okay for that particular valve right so in the case where it's not okay isis is going to calculate the required pressure drop and automatically input it for you right so this is how to size your valve right and specify an accurate pressure drop right so what you first do is you simulate your valve until it solves then you size the valve then you come back to your design and parameter section to remove the initially specified pressure drop and then allow HiSys calculate the required pressure drop based on the sizing details you have specified right so in a case where you change your sizing details in a case where you change your sizing details right a new pressure drop will need to be calculated right so that is how it works so if you come here and make any changes if you go to your let me come back to rating so if you come back to this rating section and you make changes to some of these values here you would have to size the valve again and then a new pressure drop will have to be calculated by high sys right so so this is how to specify valves and then size them appropriately right so at this point we have come to the end of this video right i hope you gain some knowledge now if you have questions about valve sizing you can drop your questions in the comment section like this video then share with your friends also subscribe to this channel for more tutorials on process simulation thank you for joining me in this tutorial do have a good day